everything we've done so far boils down to this moment. We just need to get this pass and we'll finally be done. Hey everyone, this video is for those of you who want to reach a Samsung tablet but don't know how or where to start. I had the exact same issue with my tablet. I read so many articles that were confusing and watched YouTube videos that were unnecessarily long and inaccurate. I was getting upset and annoyed that none of these tutorials were very helpful. There is no passion, there is no vision, there is no aggression, there is no fucking mindset. So how did I root my tablet? Well, in this video, I will go over everything step by step. From the root method, to unlocking your bootloader, to rooting your Android device. There are risks involved so please be careful. You know what doesn't carry any risks? Smashing the like button. These videos take extremely long to make so I'd be really grateful if we can get this video to a thousand likes. Okay, so we are going to be rooting our Android device using the magic method. So make sure to have your PC ready and a USB cable for your device. Heads up, we need to download quite a few things for this to work, including the stock ROM, the latest Odin, USB drivers, and an archiving tool. Don't worry as all the links will be provided in the description below. But firstly, warning. The routing process will erase all the data in your device. Please back it up if you don't want to lose all your stuff. Also, it's advised that you charge your device to at least 50% so the battery doesn't die during the routing process. All right, the first thing we'll need to download is the stock ROM. So go to Samfru, enter your model on the side. If you don't know which model you have, go to settings, Scroll to About Tablet, and your model name and number should be there. I have the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, or the SM P610. Now back to Samfru, go ahead and enter your model number, and you should get a suggestion on the drop down menu. Choose from there if you wish. And then you're going to press OK. And now you're going to choose your region that you're located in. And for me, that will be the United Kingdom. Here, you can see all the firmware releases along with the corresponding Android versions for your device. Choose the latest one which is shown at the top. Now, press slow speed to begin the download. Heads up, as the name suggests, the download will be extremely slow. I left mine to complete overnight. Next, let's download Odin. This will allow us to flash patched firmware. Click on the link in the description. From here, we're going to download the latest version which at the time is 3.14.4. So download it. Now we're going to be downloading the Samsung USB drivers. This will allow your PC to recognize your tablet once you have it connected. We will also need to download a file archiver tool. I highly recommend using 7-zip. Use the link in the description to go to their webpage and we can download straight from there by choosing the installer for our operating system. For us, this will be the 64-bit. So go ahead and click that. Next, we will need to download a very important piece of tool called the LZV tool. Use the link in the description. Once you get to the webpage, you can see a bunch of information. Go ahead and scroll down to assets and then choose your operating system. That's everything we'll need for the PC. And once you have downloaded them all, make sure they're installed and ready to use. And then we can move on to the next step, unlocking the bootloader. Now we will move over to our tablet so we can start the process of unlocking our bootloader. And from the main screen, we're going to go into settings and then we're going to scroll to the bottom and then go on about tablet. And then we're going to hit software information and then we're going to tap the build number seven times. Now give it a couple seconds for the developer mode to enable. Now if you go back a couple pages, you can see the developer options is now available at the bottom. Now go ahead and enable OEM unlocking. Go ahead and click enable. Next, go ahead and enable USB debugging. Once we have both the OEM unlocking and USB debugging enabled, we can go ahead and power off our tablet. Now, we're going to be entering the download mode. To do this, we need to press the volume up and down button together and then connect your PC to the tablet using USB cable. So let's go ahead and do that first. Once you have done that, you'll be met with this screen. You can't see it here, but it will give you three options, which will look like this. Continue into download mode, go into device unlock mode, or cancel and restart phone. We're going to choose the device unlock mode, so we're going to long press volume up key. Now it's going to ask us to confirm if we want to unlock our bootloader. So go ahead and press up, and eventually it will start the unlocking process, which should only take a couple of seconds. And once it has finished, it will reboot your device. And when you do, you'll get this warning message telling you that your bootloader is now unlocked. We're gonna go ahead and ignore that and follow the on-screen instructions. Once it has finished rebooting, the tablet will start the setup process. This is due to the internal data being wiped during our previous step. And other than connecting to the Wi-Fi, we can skip the rest. 
Once set up, we can check to confirm if the bootloader has been unlocked. We can do this by going to settings and then scrolling to the bottom, clicking about tablet and then software information and then tapping on build number seven times. Once again, this will enable the developer mode. Now go back and then open up the developer options. This time you'll see that OEM unlocking has been greyed out. This will confirm that the bootloader has in fact been unlocked. And again, we are going to be re-enabling the USB debugging. Now we'll start the next step, actually rooting the Android S6 Lite. Back on the PC, locate the stock firmware we downloaded earlier, right click on it, and then go on 7-zip, and then open archive, which will give you these four files. And we're looking for the one that starts with AP and is usually the biggest there. Once we have it, we're gonna go ahead and drag and then drop it onto our desktop. As the file is very large, it will take some time to extract to the desktop. After extracting it to the desktop, go ahead and right click it, and then go on 7-zip, and then go on open archive, which will open the archive and give you these files. And the file that we're interested in is called boot.image.lz4. And once you have that, go ahead and drag it, and then drop it onto the desktop. And once that's extracted, we can go ahead and close the archive. Now we can bring up the lz4 tool that we downloaded earlier, and then open it up and then drag the file that we extracted earlier into the lz4 folder and then what you'll need to do is drag the boot file and then drop it over the lz4 application file this will give you a new file named boot after moving the boot file i'm going to go ahead and right click it and then click on 7-zip and then go on add to archive and once you get this screen the first thing we're going to go ahead and change is the archive format from the drop down menu make sure to choose tar also, I'm going to change the name here to boot tar. Now we are going to connect our tablet to the PC. Make sure USB debugging is enabled if not already. Once connected, copy the boot file to your tablet. I'm going to be choosing the download folder for ease of access. Once we have copied over the file, we can go ahead and disconnect the tablet. On the tablet, go to magis.magis.com and then scroll to the index and then click on how to install Magisk latest version and then click download Magisk app. Once downloaded, go ahead and start the installation process. And if it asks you, go ahead and enable install from unknown apps. And then from there, go ahead and let the installation continue until it finishes. Once it has finished installing, go ahead and press open. And from here, we can go ahead and patch the file we just transferred over. First thing you need to do is click install. And then go and select and patch a file. And now we're going to choose a file we just transferred over, which is the boot file. Now, go ahead and press the Let's Go button and it will start the patching process. This will only take a couple of seconds and it should be done when it says All Done. Now, we're going to go over to the tablet and we're going to find the file that we just patched using the Magisk Manager. The file that we're looking for is called the Magisk Patched and we're going to drag it and then drop it onto the desktop. Now, we're going to power off our tablet and then we're going to enter the download mode. Again, connecting the USB and using the volume up and down combination. And once we're at this screen, we're going to go ahead and press Up get to download mode. Once we are on this screen, we can go back to the desktop. And on the desktop, I've renamed the patch file to boot.tar. Now I'm going to open up Odin by first right clicking and then go and run as administrator. And once it's open, go and click AP and then choose boot tar and then go and press open. And then go on options and then go and unselect auto reboot. Now we can go and press start and we'll start the flashing process. We should only take a couple seconds. And when it's finished and it's successful, you will see this pass message. After it's finished flashing, we're gonna go back to the tablet and we're going to exit download mode by pressing power and volume down button for seven seconds. And when the tablet powers down, we're going to boot into recovery mode by pressing power button and the volume up button. Follow the on-screen instructions by pressing power key to continue until you get to the recovery screen. And you're going to navigate using the volume keys. And then we're going to scroll down to wipe data and factory reset. And then we're going to press the power button. And here it's going to ask you to confirm. Go ahead and press factory data reset. After resetting, go ahead and press reboot system now. From here, your tablet is going to reboot as normal. And since we did a factory reset, we will need to go through the setup process one last time. So go ahead and complete the setup process as you normally would. Don't be afraid to take your time as the worst and the hardest part is already over. We just have a little bit more work left to do. And even that is basically a piece of cake compared to everything else we've done so far. And with that, our Android is fully set up. As you might expect, the tablet will run a bit slow after the first time you boot as it's still configuring the device. Once the tablet is fully configured, go ahead and run the Magisk Manager. And when you run it for the first time, it's going to ask you to upgrade to full Magisk. Go ahead and press OK. 
And once you finish installing, Magisk will ask you to reboot to finish setting up. Go ahead and press OK. I know it's beating a dead horse at this point, but this will be the last time your tablet will have to reboot. But don't worry, this time you won't have to set up your Android like you did the other times. Also, don't worry too much about these warning messages as they don't really mean much and it doesn't affect your use of the tablet either way. Now your tablet is finished loading up, I can show you around what it looks like when your tablet is rooted with Magisk. And uh, I'll open up Magisk just to show you what that looks like. And here we have Magisk loaded up. As you can see, it's pretty minimal. There's not really much to see, which is what I really like about it. Really, it's uh, it's pretty bare bones. Um, it doesn't come with too much bloatware, and uh, I think it's got a lot of customization. So yeah, if you have any questions about using Magisk or if you have any errors, um, please comment below, and I'll try to help as much as I can. Even though it was a lot of work, I hope this video gave some value. If it did, you can help support the channel by giving the video a big like. Thanks for watching.